Xena, Warthog Princess. Welcome, welcome back. I pardon my casual attire as out fly fishing, got my crazy Christmas pants on, they're fleece, but they're warm. Anyways, um, so I have a little bit of a haul. It is actually a jujube haul, but it comes from Tokidoki, like the actual Tokidoki. So, you know, they do a collaboration and they come out with all these bags I've been loving, but when I was sick and I was out of commission, I um, actually missed the Jujube CMO 2.0 pattern, which is a Tokidoki pattern. I was waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting for it. I knew it was coming out in November, but by the time it came out, I was out. And so by the time I got back a couple weeks later, it was gone. Like a bunch of the items I wanted were all sold out. So I totally missed the boat, literally. And I was very sad, but then I went to Tokidoki's site for something else, and turns out they were selling the Jujube items as well. So the good news is I was able to get the things I wanted. The bad news is I had to pay a full price for them, whereas if I'd gone on Jujube, I would have at least had a little bit of a discount. Anyways, I got the items I wanted, so yay, they came in. And um, here we go. So first of all, Tokidoki sends stickers when they send the orders, which is really fun um, because then you get to learn the characters and I don't know, I might have to just make a little Tokidoki sticker book. Um, so you got milk and latte and we've got the, this pair of, I don't know what their names are, sorry. And then I got this unicorn and then I got this basketball bear panda dude or dudette, I don't know, whatever. And then um, these are the ones I'd gotten previous order just to kind of keep the theme going. So I'd gotten this other unicorn. They all are different. I don't know how they managed to not overlap. And that's one of my favorites. And I have this like tiger sweat band dude. And then this one for whatever reason reminds me of the California flag. So up there. Anyways, my home state. So those are the stickers. These are little pamphlets from when I got those charm things. And it came with the Tokidoki tissue paper, so I'll save that for future. I'll use it again. Hi, come on. Kelly wants to say hello. Hello. Oh, okay, go. Silly girl. Okay, so here's the haul. I got three pieces. The first thing I got is the B set, which as you know is my pouches. I love pouches. So the, the B set is a three-piece set of pouches that can also be used as wristlets or little crossbody shoulder bags. So um, I will go through all that, of course. So it comes with these zipper pulls. The one side is the Tokidoki standard, and the other side is, this one is Donatella. I actually know her name, Donatella, and the back side is just blank, but nice big zipper pulls on the big set. So this one opens up, and the CMO pattern, as you can see, it's like an underwater theme, which I totally love. And I actually thought of my niece when I thought of this pattern, but I didn't get her anything. I think maybe later if something goes on sale or I find it, which I doubt is going to happen because this is the second edition of CMO, I, as far as I know. Anyways, um, I don't know much about the history because I'm new to the game, but it has the little mermaids. You got the little scuba diver and all of the characters. There's the little octopus. Anyways, super cute, very colorful, just a really fun underwater theme. And so I love it. And inside is just a blue with the Tokidoki standard pattern. But, so that's the big set piece, the large set piece. Then you have the middle set piece, and these ones just have these small zippers, but the same tag on it as the large set piece. And then, oh, oh, here they are. This one's good. Okay, so you got the large, the medium, and so you get different bits of the pattern. Like this one has the shark on it up here. And different characters are walrus. And yeah, so I know Donatella. That's that girl that we just saw in the zipper pool. Yeah. Who else do I know? Muzarella or Mozzarella, the cow. I need to start learning more of these names. Like go out of my way and find them and learn them. <laughs> but anyway, slowly absorbing them as they come. And then we have the small set piece. And this one always has the side tag instead. This one has one loop on it. These ones have a loop on each end. And it comes with two straps. So you got your wristlet strap and then your long strap. And it is adjustable. So 
makes a great little crossbody out of this and or this. So that's that's the B set. I have many of them now, and I, I love it because sometimes I like to mixy matchy, and sometimes I'm matchy matchy. But this gives me a great many set pieces to do. So, so I ever need a small bag with like five different small set pieces, I have them. Yay! Okay. And then I got the Be Quick, which if you've been watching, you've seen this one comes with the short strap and the newer versions are fully removable on both ends, which is cool. And this has got one zipper versus the double zipper on those, but um, this one is essentially like an extra large set piece. It does come with an, another long strap, so you can use it, that strap as well. So I have the Be Quick, like if I wanted to make that a wristlet, I could just hook it onto itself there. Um, but, it, but you can see, see how it's like the next size up in the pouch. That's why I like it so much is it's a little bigger of a purse option or you've got that bigger pouch option as well and you can, it gives you two big pouches. Anyway, so on some of my sets, I do have the Be Quick and the Be Set. That just gives you that fourth pouch size. So. I would put that in there. It's This one does have also one privacy zipper pocket on the side. Nothing else inside. It's just very simple. Very simple. And this one has a milk zipper pool. So it looks like they do have different zipper pools on the different bags. Yeah, so here's some more of the pattern as well. And you've got these treasure chests. And you've got, there's the walrus, but then you've got a whale. And there's the sharky. Yeah, and Donatella, yeah. And then on this side, you have some of more of the cactus characters and there's the mermaid again. Yeah, so as we go, I'm gonna have to start learning names. But, so four pouches and a backpack. Cause you gotta have a big bag to put all the pouches in, right? Um, and I don't have all the previous um, Tokidoki patterns, so I try to get at least a few big bags. Well, this zipper pool is the octopus. I love this character, it's one of my favorites. I like the purple one better, but, okay. This zipper pool is just regular Tokidoki. And the double zipper pool, those are both just Tokidoki regular. And Tokidoki regular on this pouch. So only the one zipper on the front pocket is the special zipper pool. Ooh, why is that gem? Why is that zipper? There we go. Okay, let me just unzip all this. We'll look at this bag. I'm not liking this pouch for some reason. It's not working. Okay, so this is the Be Zealous, the backpack. It's the simpler one. It, to me, is the largest one. This one and the Be Right Back are the two bigger ones. Um, the BFF is another style that's big. Supposedly, I don't have any of those. I'm not particularly fond of that style, just for, I don't think I am. I've never seen it up in person, but anyway. So I like this one because it gives you max flexibility of packing options, but these are all waterproof if you, if you don't know Jujube, and they're all um, very wipeable and waterproof, machine washable. The inside is treated like antimicrobial stuff, so really great option for anyone with or without kids. Um, but if you live somewhere where it's wet weather, it's a great option for just getting around and whatnot. Okay, so this has a front pocket that's just a regular zipper pocket. And that was the one with the fun zipper pool on it. Then there's a pouch behind it. This is what people call the mommy pouch. You have the zipper, I mean the uh, key bungee with the clip on it. You've got two gusseted pockets here, slip pockets. You've got a good amount of space. I mean, this pocket has, you can see there, um, quite a bit of space to it. So you can put the Be Quick, I think, fits in here. Yeah. See, like, the, it's the, it fits the Be Quick perfectly in there, and that's the largest pouch, so you can do that. You can put the small set pieces in here as wallets or whatever. You also have a privacy zipper pocket here. But great accessible pocket. You can see it opens up very nicely. Although, I'm having trouble with this particular one because this lip edge trim on it is catching in the zipper, so you've got to make sure it's tucked away that's that's it's not always that intrusive okay there we go so one pocket two pockets and then you have your side pockets which are elastic drink pockets here's a 
This is just a Perrier water strawberry and bottle drink. But it fits nicely in there. You can see it's a regular water bottle pocket. It fits that. Both sides, and they, they have a pretty good stretch to it. It's a good, good fit. Then you have on top this pocket. It's a single zipper um, right here. This is your quick accessibility. It's soft lined, great for like your tech, your sunglasses or your phone, a small tablet perhaps, um, whatever you want to put in there. But it's, it's, it's just about yay big, the pocket. Um, it doesn't go very deep, and we'll see it again in a moment from the inside as well. So we'll go into the main pocket right now. It's a double zipper, and it zips all the way down the side, which is gusseted, thankfully, which is why I like this bag, because then I can, I can have accessibility and get into it, but yet it's not just going to flop open like the Be Right Back, because I don't need that. Um, but in this bag, you can see you've got two mesh elastic pockets here, two more of them here. You have a solid material one that's very waterproof. And then you have this other big slip in the back. This comes with the thin changing mat, which I like to use for other things, like it's a great craft mat or a picnic mat for you know public outings or whatever. So you don't just have to use it for changing babies is what I'm saying. There's always other things. The other thing you can do with this, if you're crafty or you know someone that is, is you can make things out of this. Like this can be made into um, another large pouch or a coin purse or some other things. Now I haven't done any of that, but I have ideas and I have the skills, believe it or not. All right, um, but then you have this two elastics. So a lot of people will like hang something there like a wipes or something. Um, but this is the internal pocket I showed you from the top, the soft lined one. So if I want to put something in here, like a laptop or something, it will fit in there, you know, because it's a big slip there. And then you just, you can actually tuck it up behind because this flops out. So you can tuck that big item behind that and it'll stay in better. So anyways, these are just things I think about as I look at them. So that zips all the way back up, the double zipper. And then, so you have your carrying strap, you have two very nicely padded, they're, they have a little bit of an ergonomic shape to them, but not much, but padded and meshed, so they won't make you sweat quite as bad, but this part is not meshed, so this will sweat uh, against your back, I mean you sweat, not the bag, but, um, but you will, it will make you sweat, of course, because it's not meshed and breathable. I say that, but I actually haven't used one enough to do that. But I say that because it just isn't as breathable, but then again, it's very wipeable and slick. So, I mean, it's not an issue that you're gonna sweat. I'm just saying I sweat a lot. These are things I think about. Now, the other thing is, on, I don't know, Jujube, this is one thing I don't actually like about the bags. I don't like this old loop fitting of the adjustment thing. I say that because they're a little bit um, they, they adjust pretty easily like that, but the problem is they adjust too easily. So while you're wearing it, it can wiggle itself loose, which can be a problem. But you can buy, and I should have grabbed it before the video, but you can buy this other little fitting that you essentially put here and it keeps it from wiggling itself loose. So that is a, a great addition. You just have to unthread it, thread that other piece in between and it will hold that, that loose strap as well, so that also is helpful. But I didn't, I haven't had to use it yet, but I just have watched a lot of YouTube videos and learned that from others. So it's always best to learn from others' mistakes, right? Or, or not mistakes, but anyways. So that's a tidbit about that that is a potential factor, but on Amazon for like, I don't know, a couple bucks you can get 10 of them, 10 of those fittings, and you only need two at a time, so. If you have multiple backpacks like me, so I went ahead and bought the pouch of them. They also do come in, so this is like silver hardware, they come in gold as well. So depending on your bag, you might choose to matchy-matchy on the metal. Um, I'm not that picky about it. If it was just a fitting like that, I might mismatch it just because I don't need a bunch of gold ones. All my stuff's silver, but I have a couple of gold ones. So anyways, we'll see. But the Be Zealous, the Be Quick, and the B set are now here. Yay, CMO 2.0. Um, I don't know much about 
the first CMO pattern, but I know that it was very popular. So if you're looking for CMO, don't wait. You might miss the boat as well. So you can buy it on Jujubee. You can buy it from Tokidoki directly. The same stuff, it is Jujubee. It's not Tokidoki brand, which as you've seen, um, I'll put a link here for the other haul from Tokidoki, straight from them. It's a little bit different item styles. Um, but you can get it on Amazon and eBay, and you can get some good deals and some bad deals. There's some eBay, man, people jack up, jack up the prices. So as soon as I missed the boat, I went and looked on eBay, and it was heartbreaking what people, just greedy. I know people make, don't get me started on my thoughts on that. I just think that it's not right to take advantage of your fellow man, especially if you're the one that's buying out the inventory from the company, whether it's on sale or not, and now you've removed the option from other people and jacked the prices up on them. I, that is that's wrong to me. It's just wrong. You can't convince me otherwise. I don't care that you're making a living that way. It's making a living at other people's detriment. It's wrong. So anyway. That's my thoughts on that, and I'll get off my soapbox and let you go. Thank you for watching. I hope you're all having a great ramp up to the holidays, whatever it is that you celebrate. There's a new year coming, and hopefully it's a good one. I look forward to many more good things to come for sure. Um, yeah, and I have more things coming in orders. Vera haul coming. Lug haul coming. Uh, I don't know what else I may have ordered while I was sick because... I did some shopping while I was, hey, while I was um, not legal to <laughs> make those decisions. Anyways, yeah. So take care. Have a great day. Washy washy. Bye for now.